Hey guys. So I have some European night crawlers back on my website. So if you guys want some, go ahead and get them. Right now I have 50 for sale. So what I do is when I get an order of 50, I come in here and I start counting. I pick the biggest ones I could find and then I take it from there. Um, so I add fresh bedding also because once I start picking out adults, there are babies in here that are hatching and they're gonna grow up. So they're gonna need fresh bedding. But anyway, um, thegardenandwormlady.com. And all right, this is a giant tub I have of European night crawlers. And I will link the tub down below where I get it. So, by the way, if you want any of these worms, they're on my website right now, thegardenandwormlady.com. So worms naturally, they have a sweet tooth. I have seen worms go after sweet, sweet things quite often. Look at that, how pretty. So we're gonna do an experiment with the corn. So this corn has not been cooked, but it has been frozen. So I have an ear here. Look how pretty fresh corn is. Isn't that gorgeous? So I'm gonna put one ear here of the frozen peeled. And then we're gonna take this one that hasn't been peeled and we're gonna put it here. And we're gonna see what they're gonna do, whether they're gonna like it or not. Look, I think I had um, I had a pumpkin in here and look what's left of the pumpkin. But look at some of these worms. They're like nice chunky worms. You notice the European Nightcrawler has that yellow tail. Very similar to a red wiggler. Sorry, guy. So some of you know me, some of you don't. I've been raising worms um, well, 21 years now. <laughs> 21 years and it's been an adventure. <laughs> so look, if you notice European night crawlers, they like to hang out in the corners. And my guess is the coolness of the plastic and the moisture. I can't really tell you 100%. Um, I'm sure there's a scientist out there who knows. Maybe they'll let us know. Um, before anything, press that subscribe button. And I'll keep you posted on what my worms are doing. So this this bedding, it, it, it was peat moss. And when I make bedding for worms, I usually add dolomite lime and some kind of grit. One of my favorite grits to use is oyster shell, but I've also used um, play sand, like that play sand you get in the sacks at uh, the big box store. Just don't get play sand from the ocean, guys, unless like you're gonna have an outdoor bin because I'm not sure what that has in it. And I wouldn't bring that in my house. Like, I'd be too scared. Oh, look here. Someone's trying to escape or give me a hug. <laughs> so, look at them. They're perfect for fishing. European night crawlers are very cold tolerant. So, one time, a friend of mine shipped me some. And it was 10 degrees here in southern Indiana. And he's like, are you sure you want me to ship them? I'm like, yeah, don't worry if something happens i'll take responsibility for it he's like okay well anyway they arrived and they were frozen solid and like the bedding was solid and i thought oh my gosh well they're gonna be dead frozen so of course i didn't assume that so i i quickly got them and bought them in my wormery and i put them in a tub and slowly i started pouring warm water on the uh, frozen bedding and little by little I went like this and I started chipping away at it like that, like that and I'd see a worm and I'd gently take it out and put it here do you know that within I guess 20 minutes 
they started wiggling and I couldn't believe that those worms were alive and they thrived. They thrived, they reproduced for me. They just went back to normal and I couldn't believe it. And then that's when I believed that European night crawlers are cold tolerant. They also say that um, they're good for fishing because since the water is kind of cold or, you know, cooler, they withstand um, to stay on the hook longer and wiggle more. So, but you know, not everyone buys European night crawlers for fishing. I got people that buy them for fishing from the south, especially through the winter. And then there's a lot of people that use them for composting because they're an excellent composting worm, especially if you have things like like cardboard and paper and um, like paper bags and they, they love all that stuff. They're an excellent worm. Look at that. So if you guys want them, hit up my website and I will keep you posted on this. I'm not going to feed them because we just did the corn experiment. Um, I check on them. Let's see. Today is Friday. Tomorrow I work. Yeah, I'm not a full-time worm farmer. I do keep a job outside my house because I really like it. <laughs> so, tomorrow night when I get home, then I come and check and prepare for Sunday's harvest of the breeders. But when my towers or my containers run out of worms, I get them from here. So, when you guys buy worms from me, I pick them out and then I just start counting them. I think it's the... Um, it's the easiest for European night crawlers because they're so big. You could just go one, two, three, four, you know, and I literally count every worm. So, <laughs> so anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Take care.